Uh, Marilyn May, how are you, darling? I'm Just fine. Just saw you Skippy. with Minnie Hines and uh, who else was And that? Karen Morrow. Karen it was Karen a great Morrow. show at the Thank you. Ford Amphitheater. Amphitheater. Yes, we did Reprise. It was a, a fundraiser for an organization called Reprise right. that Peter Matz originated. Uh -huh. And Peter Matz was a wonderful arranger of mine, so it was a joy to be there. Oh, Marilyn May, when you come on that stage, you're still, I, I remember you in Kansas City, girl. <laughs> I don't want to go back. That goes Those back a long way. days. <laughs> but you grew up where, actually? I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. So it's all Midwest. Midwest. Uh, uh -huh. Des Moines, Iowa. I was born in Wichita, Kansas. Uh -huh. Grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. Moved and married a man in uh, Kansas, several men in, but Ca in when Kansas City. you were in, <laughs> <laughs> several, I like that. I did. When you were in Des Moines, Iowa. You were uh, working uh, singing as a teenager. I was. And you had a radio show? I no? did. I did. You did. Isn't that funny? I can't imagine some 15-year-old girl with her own radio show. Oh, but yeah. There are a lot of them. Th there are now, aren't there? She, Sam yeah. Howell had yeah. one before yeah. she from and part in Oregon. Isn't that great? Before she came to Hollywood. Yeah. Well, it was great education. You it know. certainly was. And yeah. I want to tell you something. Something happened. What did you do? Uh, you moved right over to Kansas City. Yeah, and joined this Kansas club, a, a man. I, I was booked. <laughs> well, first I was booked at a club uh, in the President Hotel, and there was a dancer uh, that opened for me, and I married him. And then later on, I found a great pianist, and so I married him, and we worked a place called... The Colony. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And I worked a club called the Jewel Box Review. Ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe this place. Oh, you were wonderful. It was a very, wonderful. very campy club. I mean, was I was wonderful. the MC. I wasn't a drag. I was the MC. Of it. <laughs> That's what I used to do. And I loved it there. I really and I it. And I knew you there. Yeah, you did. Now, that was, oh, maybe, what, 10 or 12 years ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn May, you and I are about the same, same age. But anyway, I had a great job. So you and isn't it nice? We're still moving and working, and it's wonderful and yeah, energetic. Steve Allen had a lot to do so, with you. Now. Yeah, so he good. He came to in me. that room, saw Marilyn May. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What happened? He he booked me on his national. He had a prime time show in those days. It wasn't the Tonight Show. He did a Wednesday night prime time show, and asked me to do the show. And um, I went out, and then and then he wound up with a show across from Farmer's Market at that studio, a late night show, and right. I did that many times. And the last show before it was to go off the air, an executive from RCA saw me and called and said, I want to record you. Record you. Yeah. yeah. So You did you know, a lot of records. We uh, Wonderful. I, RCA was good to me. Yeah, but Cabaret. It was my Liza didn't do it. She did it. <laughs> it was my was first hit song. record. Yes, it uh, was. That was your song in the record. It was fun. It was the first hit record before the Broadway show opened, uh -huh. before the movie, you know. Uh -huh. So we had the, the first hit on it. Uh, and then followed by um, Step to the Rear and Let a Winter Lead the Way mm -hmm. from How Now Dow Jones. Also followed by Sherry that uh, James Lipton wrote. Right. Yeah. So Tell that me, was fun. Would you consider yourself, what kind of a singer? Jazz? I know you're an entertainer, but is it a jazz singer? Well, what, what, what are the other categories? Of, uh, I don't know. There's, uh, you're a mixer, whatever they are. Whatever. But it's a you're mix. A great singer. <laughs> Thank you. You, Thank but you. you. But your favorite is jazz. Well, you? I think everything that I do is jazz spiced. You know, it's. Um, I grew up in the Middle West, and I grew up in Kansas City, and Kansas City is, is a big mecca of jazz. Great singers from Kansas City. Right. So I, I think most of, you know, everything that I do, I don't stick real close to the melody, I see. I see. but I'm not a far-out jazz singer No, no, either, no, you know. like Anita O'Day and all that. Well, I, know, I loved I Anita. And, oh, and, and, I don't and, mean that. I meant No, Anita. right, right, exactly. Yeah. And, and I love Ella and, and all those singers. I also love communicating with the audience and, and Boy, singing to did. them, not for them. So. Did you ever at yeah. that Ford Theater? Thank you. Wow, that's a big stage. It was. You were right there. I loved it. Yeah, thank you. And I was right in the middle of the room. I was sitting <laughs> next to someone, and I just, I've never seen you perform. That's the first time I've seen you perform in years. I know it is, yeah. In years, Marilyn. I know. What do you do with yourself? You just, just got in from New York, I understand. I'm just singing as fast as I can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sing as fast as you can. 
Uh, I'm working all the time now, Skippy. It's funny. Um, we were, we opened in a new room in New York last October, uh -huh. and we were there. Uh, well, first of all, we did a, a show at Lincoln Center at, in Rose Theater for one night, and then we went over to this wonderful theater called the Metropolitan Room, which is on Chelsea. Uh, I mean, it's in Chelsea on 22nd Street. They just opened exactly a year ago. And I did one night in October, and then we came back for two weeks in March. And the reviews were wonderful. And so now we're going back in September, mm -hmm. and we go back again in November. So we're it's, busy. yeah, we're busy, and we're working St. Louis in October and Kansas City in October. And, and we've got Those a summer resort in August. Never forget Maryland May in that area. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, every. It's Those good. are all your friends. And you still go there. You still oh, yes. There, oh, right? yeah. There's a wonderful theater called Quality Hill Playhouse there, and we're going to be doing that for two weeks in October. Uh -huh. Then we go directly from there to New York. T two nights later, we go to New York. And but Steve Allen Show, after the Steve Allen Show, Someone saw you, one of the greatest, Nebraska, your, our town nearest. Johnny. Johnny Carson. Oh, he was so and good love to me. Well, he was you. good to me. He was very, actually, you know who saw me uh, in New York in a little room called The Living Room. Do you remember the, yes, the Living course, Room? Yes, of course, The Living Room, yes. We were working there. And Is that where Johnny saw you? Well, Ed McMahon saw Ed me McMahon. there. Uh -huh. And Ed went back to the show and said we, and that was when Skitch Henderson had the and orchestra. Yes, and he loved and, you. And he brought me to Skitch, and we did the show, and we did Doc, it many times. Doc. And, uh, and then Doc took over the band. Well, no, there was one in between. Oh, dear. We should have thought but about Dot, this. But Dot loved you, though. I love Doc, too. He yeah. said you were the greatest singer well, ever was, had at the John Carson show. He always asked his daughter, uh, Nancy Severinsen, who's doing wonderful things right. out here, you know, in television. And um, Nancy, he always told her to listen to Ella's records and listen to mine, is the way he introduced me. He always said, when my daughter wanted to sing, I said, you get Ella Fitzgerald's records and you get Marilyn May's records, which was a great, great right, compliment. Because right, right, right. Ella was How many shows have you done on the Carson, would you say? You've done so many. 76. <laughs> but who's counting? <laughs> 76 Johnny Carson shows. Well, we're going to show a clip right now. I don't know what year that was, oh, God. but I want to show this clip right now to my audience. Okay, oh, God. let's hear it, Yvette. <laughs> Maryland God, seven, Maryland six. Then I spent so many nights just thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get along. So now you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid luck. I should have made you leave your key. If I had known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on. Took all the strength I had not to fall apart. That's why I caught them in the pieces of my broken heart. And I spent oh so many nights just feeling sorry for myself. I used to cry. But now I hold my head up high and you see me. Somebody new. I'm not that chained up now person still in love with you. And so you felt like dropping in and you expect me to be free. Well, I'm saving all my love. Whoa! 
How dramatic was that, huh? <laughs> Is that meaningful or what? You like dramatic songs, but you're I very... don't know what happened to that body. I, that God, body? she had a good body. Yeah, you close one she eye, you have... look like a needle. <laughs> I swear she had great body. I didn't know I was cute. I would have used it if I'd known it. I didn't I didn't know it <laughs> in those days. <laughs> but you look great. Thank you. But you it was still fun. have a great body. And you still look good and you got the body well, movements on that. You know, stage. The, the neat thing is these days I so appreciate uh, the fact that, that I still my voice is still working it and is. and I'm healthy and active and energetic. How do you keep your voice in shape? Because Just prayer. I you think. work hard <laughs> and you do many numbers. How many numbers do you do a night? In the oh, we do like, well, 20. we're only supposed to do an hour and we always wind up doing about an hour and a half, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, if it's a concert, then we do like 45 minutes and then a 20 minute intermission and then another 45. You know who I miss? I miss Mike Douglas. Don't you miss Mike I love Douglas? Mike. I, 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 did, I did that show You're probably many. more than I did Johnny. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Mike my. Douglas. I loved Mike. Great singer. He was a great singer himself. Yeah. And he was a good guy. Liked him always. Just Philadelphia. And my supportive. Dear friend, supportive Roman. of the artist. Remember you Dick know. Roman? The great singer. Sure. He was sure. my friend. He gave me my name, Skippy Lowe. Oh, did he? <laughs> That's who gave me my name. People and, ask. And um, you know, Mike always wanted to be the singer. You know, right, right. he was the singer. And and. Uh, Johnny and all those people were supportive of, of new talent. You know, they loved artists and they made stars out of them. You know, it was a very, very happy time because Steve Allen and Mike and Johnny Carson all weren't afraid to rave about the talent and, and use them often so that they would make stars Marilyn, out of them. What do you think about show business today? I mean, oh, it's gosh. different. It's what do you think? Is there any? <laughs> That's a good word. There is show business, sure. Yes, of course. Uh, it's, um, it's it's different. different. I'm, you know, the American Idol and all that seems to have changed a lot, and I, I'm not sure that everybody. I know in in this room in the Metropolitan, every night there were from five to ten singers in the audience. Wanted to see. Uh, they did. And the same with Julie Wilson. She works it, and they, they come to see you work, and and they want to discuss it afterward. You know, it's right. like, and they say to watch is like seeing a master class. Because I think what I do is it's kind of a dying art now. Yes, it is. And um, every, every song is important. It's a story. It's a vignette. And, and you, the lyrics are most important. Um, the audience is important, what they think, and I try to communicate with them. So it's, it's um, these days, I think a lot of singers just sing for themselves, and they don't worry about what they look the down. They don't uh, well, communicate yeah. with that audience. Yeah, there's, yeah, I think there should be eye contact with yeah, the audience, yeah, of yeah. course. So you're a cabaret performer. Though. Well, cabaret. That's yeah. where Marilyn May and really we do started. we do jazz concerts and, jazz and we and do concerts. theaters. Yes. We do a lot of theaters and records. How many albums? We have seven. Uh, only seven on RCA. Uh, I have five more on independent labels. Uh, CDs. Those are CDs now. Skippy. Now they're CDs. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I and I have to learn that. It's very hard because I always say albums. But um, we sell our CDs of, after every performance. And it's great fun because it's a way to uh, talk to the audience. You come to Hollywood now. C coming to Hollywood. Hey, the Hollywood Palace. Johnny Carson Show. Sure. Oh. Don't you miss all that? Oh, well, it was great. The great, Hollywood great Palace. Times, wasn't that great a great times. place? I'm just grateful that there are some rooms now that, uh -huh. that still want you know that the audience still we had packed houses skippy and uh, i did 14 shows i did two weeks and and the we were packed every every show so there are there's an audience out there uh this ford amphitheater is a fabulous theater the sound was great uh, the lighting was great uh, i hope they have a lot of shows there you do they do a lot of at all i go i'm going to go next march to the colony oh. in uh, west palm beach uh -huh. we'll be there for two weeks in march 
because you used to work the Jackie Gleason show. Oh, I did. Yes, I did. And yes. I, lo I love Jackie. Oh, I Gleason. can't believe you remember that. That's oh, fun. yes, yes. I yeah. followed your career a lot. That was here. fun. <laughs> I loved the Jackie Gleason show. Yes, and yeah. also you're an actress. You're not just a singer. Well, You've done acting too. Well, you know, the every song is an is a is an acting vignette. I think. Uh -huh. Ed uh, Sullivan. We do hello, Tell darling. Me about Ed Sullivan, my darling. He was there. good to me. Great man. He you know, we a did lot a lot of people. Oh, Look at the stars. Beatles right now. The Beatles are on Johnny. Uh, Created stars. Yes, he has. Yeah, he did. And uh, people can laugh all they want about the way he stood there and all mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. But he had a style. Like well, and, and how wonderful that he presented that many people, that, that, that talent, so much talent yeah. that he presented. Uh, I worked at uh, three times, uh, one time with the Buddy Rich Band. And boy, that was a uh, that was a, that a was joy. A joy, yeah, Buddy wonderful. Rich. Yeah, you ever he played for you in cabarets or anything? Well, it, we we would do that. We would do shows together, and uh -huh. and of course, uh, uh, we did work together in in a theater. Um, uh, I, I opened, and and I loved it because Buddy, during my rehearsal, I had my trio of guys, yes. but his band played my music, and he sat um, in a chair and faced us during rehearsal. Then during my, when I would open for him, he would sit in the wings and watch. And I, w and I thought that was so nice that, you know, everybody thinks Buddy was so mean. Uh -huh. He was wonderful to me. And he and Johnny Carson had great rapport, you know. Yeah, Johnny Carson, yeah, really yeah, They great. had great rapport. What kind of guy was he? Look at me, darling. Johnny really? was shy. Johnny, Johnny was, was shy. shy. He I know his shy. wife. He was shy. She comes to my showcase. I have a showcase at Trilusa. In Beverly Hills, yes. And Joanna Carson, the second wife. Does she? She comes and she loves it. Does she sing? No, no, no. no. She comes. I have a 97-year-old lady that comes and performs. I have a Happy Hall tap dancer, 84. Oh, right, Ellen. Ellen Eichler have seen her many times. Right, Ellen? Yes. yes. And I'm going to do that when I grow up. <laughs> I'm going to do your show. <laughs> when you grow up, okay. <laughs> But Joanna Carson, she's a darling lady. Oh, I'm sure. And Johnny Carson, she used to say, shy. Is He's very boy. shy. And also, you know, they always say, well, he wouldn't talk. He would always pop into the makeup room and say, hi, Marilyn, nice to have you back. But no conversation. He waited. That's it. You know, you save the conversation for the camera. For the, for the camera. Yeah. That's what I like to do, too. Exactly. You don't do That's why we talked it. for an hour before we started the show. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Who's you have a favorite singer today? You have? A young Today, Anne Hampton yes. Calloway. Oh, I love good. Anne. I yeah. love her. She's California, she, isn't she? Uh, oh. New York, I think. Oh, I think. okay. Calloway's daughter. Uh, is it that Calloway's daughter? Uh? It's no. It's it's not. It's no. Not. It is now. I know. I know. No, it, she Liz Calloway is her sister, and her mother was a music teacher. She's a great, great uh, jazz, singer jazz singer, and 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 also she kind of does yeah. what I do. I've seen her at you the know. Rose Bell. Yeah, Sorry. she's wonderful. And um, of course, I love Mel Torme, and I love I love Jack Jones. His son Jones is going to be performing. Did you it, know that? Yeah, Alan? he works. His he works. son is going to be performing. He's already he's, he's on the road. No, he's another been on one. The road. He has another oh, another one. one. Another oh, good. Uh, uh, maybe this grandson. Good. This, good. This he's going to be performing. Mel was a very good friend of mine. I love Mel. Torme. I love Mel, and and uh, and Ella really was a friend. You know, was a dear, a close friend. A very, again, shy and and a doll. Just a really she seems all the down great people are shy. Just a down home person. A wonderful, a wonderful, uh, a wonderful lady, and loved what she did. And and uh, you know, she'd have tea. She'd have high tea at her house. <laughs> that kind of thing. What's your day like? You know, uh, busy. I'm on the it? phone a lot. Uh, you know, thank God for the telephone. You do. Uh, there's lots of paperwork. Lots of, you know, I I carry my musicians. I have a quartet of musicians, mm -hmm. and um, I carry them. And it's communicating it's with the airlines. A lot of rehearsals. Uh, rehearsals before the, before each, each job. You know. Yeah. Each so gig, that's what you, you know. keep your voice in shape because you're rehearsing. You're, oh yeah. You're sharp. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, when you, you don't sing and lay off. Yeah, you use it or lose it. You lose it. I say if you don't use it, if you, you don't lose it. use it. You lose People, it. You can I lose think it. so. Maybe I don't know. There, there are periods of time that I don't sing at all, and uh, around the 
actually all day long I'm doing the business of showbiz. Right. There is a business of showbiz That's and right. some people think you just get up and sing a few songs. It's not like but that. You're a business There's lady. a whole bunch to do before that. Yeah. You yeah. know, before so you, you manage your own before self you hit and that. do a lot. I have a I have an assistant mm -hmm. and together and then there are bookers and people that I work with. But uh, but it's really I really do treat it as a business, and I think that's why I've, I've survived. <laughs> All the husbands you've had, Marilyn. Any children? I have one special child. She's really? a daughter. Her name is Christy Tucker. She's a singer, Christy and was an Tucker. actress. Uh huh. I Isn't like that a good name. showbiz name? Yes, yeah, yes. Christy it is a good Tucker. Show. <laughs> Does she do Sophie Tucker type she, No, she yeah. sings very much what her she Broadway show oh, stuff uh, musical and comedy. was an act and decided uh, oh, when she hit uh, middle 40s that she would teach. And she is in Kansas City teaching. She's still in She Kansas has City. about 40 private students every week and loves it and is a great teacher and is creating really good singers that mm -hmm. can follow in our footsteps. When you go back to Kansas City, mm -hmm. not show business, what, what do, do you, I do? What do you actually do? Well, do the garden? I, I do. I plant. Do? Really? Uh, amazing that That's you said great. that. How'd you know that, Skippy? Because <laughs> I don't know. Go I do ahead. garden. Do. I do. It's yeah. Good for you. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I'm busy. I, I love to shop. I do a lot of that. And I have a lot of friends that I communicate with and and travel to see. I like when I'm not traveling. I like to travel when I'm when I'm not on the road, and go visit my friends and play. And we were just in Palm Spring, Palm Desert uh -huh. last weekend. That's and a great I place. oh, I love I love that. I love to shop did, there. Did you work the theater there at the? Uh, I worked it with Steve Allen. You did with Steve Allen and Bill Dana and Louis Nye, and the great pianist Paul Smith. Remember the Chi Chi Club? They used to have a club called the Chi Chi Club in Palm Springs. I don't Springs. remember Chi Chi. Uh, well, you were in the Colony Club then, I think. Maybe, maybe. Before. You know who yeah. lives in Palm Springs? Our mutual friend, Shecky Green. Shecky Green. And see, I worked with Shecky work an anymore. awful lot. Doesn't want to work. What he's a, scared. Oh, he's not. He's such a great entertainer. He's the best. And Jerry the Vale best. lives there. I and think, Jerry can't Yeah, they're friends. Sing. Oh, I didn't know Lost that. His voice. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's he, don't talk about that. I know it's terrible, no, isn't it? No, but Shecky's so so Shecky? special. Oh, oh yeah. he is special. Yeah, I love Shecky. He's a special inventor yeah, yeah. of comedy. The uh, a really good singer. You know, he could have had a great, a great career singer, singing. Yeah. He really could. Yeah, I worked for Illinois with him there. Yeah, you know how great Shecky he Green, sings. Sterling and Green, he, was, he had a partner. Oh, Chicago. I didn't know that. Oh, yes, you did. No, I don't know yeah. that. I only Sammy know Shore Shecky. was once, once Sammy Shore was his partner oh, once I for a while. Oh, I don't know that. Oh, really? Yes, darling. Yeah. Shecky Green. And, and I worked with Rich Little, and Rich is still working, isn't he? Uh huh. But you work Vegas. But Rich opened for me, isn't that fun? You work Vegas. <laughs> Do you work Vegas? Uh, not anymore. I used to a lot. Did you like it? Uh, no. How come you don't work anymore, Mary? I, I don't. Uh, the there's, lounges? there's, yeah, there's no place for me to work, I don't think. But you do ship cruises, and that is not fun. much, but I've, you but should. a few, yeah. I have, because I've done, I've done some, yeah. And yeah. the people on ships, those wonderful ship cruises, yeah. You could talk about your career and your books. Oh yeah, it's lovely. You have a book yeah. Out? Uh, I don't have a book. Why is that? Everybody wants me to do a book. I have funny stories. So, you know, we I should do that. You when should I, do a book, I, When I get time, I'll do that. <laughs> well, you stop the gardening and uh, let's do the book. I know, I know. Talk on the tape recorder, Marilyn. I know it. That's what you do. You My funny stories. So I have, to, I have to get with somebody like you to, to remind me of funny talk stories. Talk on the tape recorder yeah. or look at your passport. You find out where have you been at those days. And that's it. Uh, you get a book. Yeah. That's how I did mine. Really. That's good. The Boy with the Betty Grable Legs. What's the name of your what's The, the name Boy with the oh, Betty Grable you. Legs. <laughs> The title of my good book. and it's good everybody in west hollywood i'm gonna go buy that there. book now where can i buy that hey you can buy it at the different light bookstore right on Garden. do you want to know hey. where they can buy my cds yes why please. don't you ask me <laughs> <laughs> where can they buy your cds uh, area code uh 816-591-1114 uh -huh. yeah well okay <laughs> <laughs> or www you want the you want the website no, no, we okay. better not. <laughs> Farley Granger is going to be in town uh, next week. No, this week. That's Friday. Gorgeous. In West Hollywood. Gorgeous guy. Wonderful man. He did movies with Shelley Winters, my dear friend. And he lived in the same building 
next to the Dakota in New York with Shelley. And um, he's going to be in town. And this book is Include Me Out. You know why? He hated Hollywood. He oh. really hated Hollywood. And he got out. He did several movies and left. And I bought a house in Northridge some you years did. ago. I did. What, and you I, live and way I, That's and a I, nice place. Uh, way out. Right. And I just didn't like being here. Isn't that interesting? I love being here as a guest. I don't like guest. Hollywood uh, at all. I didn't all. like living here. I love, I love to be here as a guest. I don't care. I love the Ford Amphitheater. That, that, that's the place to be. Uh -huh. The Honeymooners. Tell me about the Honeymooners. You did some acting on that. Uh, they did. did a seasonal show on, uh -huh. on Jackie Gleason. And I sang all these original tunes right. that the songwriters did. Um, he was darling to work with Jackie, and very supportive. You know, yeah, he loves talent, yeah. loved talent, and and uh, it was great fun doing that show. I think, though, my favorite show was the Carson show to do. Carson, well, it had because, to be because yeah. you've done so many. Well, as and, the best singer, that band, he's, he's he considered you one of the best singers, girl singers. He just was so good to yet. me. Uh, the Doc Severinsen band was so Ducks. great, and Tommy Newsom, it. precious Tommy, that did so many of my arrangements. You know, he's gone on. And Do you have a favorite song that oh, Marilyn no. uh, May does that you like to do that's touched your heart in all um, years? Uh, the, uh, not a favorite song because there's so many so songs many. that I love for some, yeah, so many different reasons. But I think the philosophy of the one that I usually close the show with yes. is um, the Jerry Herman, um, which I think it's a great philosophy in life. Right. You know? Light the candles. You did that. At Light the, the theater, candles. Didn't you? Sure. Yeah, Get the great. ice out. Roll the rug up. It's today, though it may not be anyone's birthday, and though it's far from the first of the year, I know that this very minute has history in it. Skippy, we're here. That's right. Isn't that right. good? You seem like you're having a good time, right? I now. am. You are. It's a good time of life. That's a good title of a book, Marilyn May. <laughs> it's a good time of life. My mother Marilyn always May. wants to write, my, my daughter like wants to buy a book, uh, write a book and call it My Mother the Funny Lady. <laughs> that's what my daughter would you have call. A, you do have a sense of humor. I do have a sense of humor. And that's really important. And isn't that the most important yes. of all? It, on that stage, you made me laugh. You have. Good. You do. You make, the audience just loved you. Bob Mackey was there, you know. Yeah, I know. That night. And Peter Marshall. Oh, he was sitting next to, to me. Hello to Peter Marshall. Peter I love Peter. I didn't get to say hello to him. That you night. didn't see him? I didn't get to say hello to him. Oh, he went backstage. I think you would see Mimi. I love him. Hines. He's a good singer. <laughs> Mimi? Peter's a great singer. Oh, Peter's singer. a great singer. Great singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like Peter. And and Bob Mackey's wonderful. This is a Bob Mackey scarf. Yes, you look. Do you love Bob Mackey? I love Bob Mackey. Oh, Matter of fact, so Joanna sweet. Carson brought him to my club and seen my show at Trilusa. Did he sing? Yes. No, Bob no. Mackey did not. He just uh, <laughs> came in with Joanna. He they're, comes they're to see friends. me. They're he comes friends. to see me sing. You like uh, New York? Living in New York? I don't live there I actually, know you don't, but but, uh, but when I'm there, I have a good time. Uh, yeah, that's where yeah. I want to go. And you know, sorry, LA. <laughs> well, it's interesting because the people, the younger people, really want to want to know what it, what this crazy show business is about.